Well, can I tell you a story? Hmm. Two years ago, I, I wanted to open my own brand, a shoe brand. And um, so I went to down in Brazil, south of Brazil, to develop uh, some uh, suppliers. And as I was uh, getting to know the factories and talk to the engineers and everything, I asked about a brand that was kind of a benchmark for me. And uh, they told me something that sparked me, you know, that changed the whole thing, my whole business plan. They told me that that brand that was really cool, it kind of didn't manage to grow because they didn't understand the product. They were very good at marketing, they were very good at, at storytelling, but they did not understand the fundamentals of a shoe making, of a shoe, of a product. So what happens that the production was always a nightmare and they were spending too much money because they didn't know about materials, they didn't know so it came to my mind, I cannot start a brand without understanding the fundamentals of shoes, you know, without understanding the principles that, you know, guide this craft. So if you really want to master an art, form of art, you really need to understand where it comes from, you know, the, the basics. So I said, okay, I need to go back to school and I need to to, to understand the, the, the primitive form of shoemaking so I can be more creative. Anyway, so I found out that Astoria, uh, it's really like, a, it's been around for a long time and uh, they have their own methods, their own process of shoemaking and, uh, uh, and Italians are just a mess. After one year, I can definitely say that was a great choice because now I'm way more prepared to realize this dream of having a brand uh, that actually has uh, sustainable and uh, comfortable products.